Good morning, everyone. Happy Vlogmas. I am actually just up drinking my coffee, straining my hair. Today we have Emma's doctor's appointment and I have to take Adrian to school. They're not awake yet. I woke up a little bit earlier today because I didn't make Anthony's lunch for work last night. So I had to wake up early to make his lunch and right now i'm gonna start multitasking in just a second i just kind of wanted to come on here and say hello to you guys before i started the multitasking because i might not be able to videotape it and get it all on camera because i am running a little late so i'm gonna start making breakfast for adrian while i finish up doing my hair and my makeup then I have to wake up my little Miss Emma, which she's still asleep. She's been sleeping really good the past couple of days. I mean, she's still not back at school, obviously. She's been missing school, but she's been sleeping really good um, these past couple of days. So I'm excited and happy about that. But anyways, guys, that is what my morning is, morning is looking like today. Just doing a lot in the morning, trying to get everything done before the doctor's appointment and I'll see you guys in a second. All right guys, so I made Adrian some breakfast. I'm gonna make him some toast. He's taking a shower right now so he can get ready for school. I'm almost done straining my hair and little Miss Emma woke up. So she is just watching TV chilling for right now. Hi baby. <laughs> Hi cutie. I'm still drinking my coffee. By the way, this is what I'm going to eat for breakfast um, on the go because I'm running for late. I know I could have just made myself breakfast when I made Adrian, but I'm just not going to have enough time to eat it. And these are like really easy to eat on the way to uh, wherever I'm going. Like I'm literally going to heat it up right before we take off and start eating it on the way. I'm also taking my protein shake with me just in case I still am hungry and I want to eat more then I'm gonna go ahead and take my protein shake with me as well, but. My little cutie. I'm gonna finish getting ready. Jump. One, two, three, jump. One. <laughs> Good job. <sighs> All right, guys, we are done with the doctor's appointment for little miss emster um i got the doctor's note which I, I wasn't really satisfied with how it's worded because it says to please excuse emma from school if she has a cough but it also says that we, the cough is not um contagious she's been having the same cough for a very long time and we think it's allergies or asthma i don't know i just kind of didn't like the way that it was worded i wish that they would have worded more like excuse her and let her be in class but whatever this has to do for now um we're also going to get a call back from a person that specializes in allergies because they want to run some tests on her to make sure what type of allergies she has because they think it might be allergy related just because during the days when she has the mucus and the congestion and the cough it's mostly during the day or at night when she wakes up so they think it might be allergies i don't know they don't know anything either but at least we got the letter we can take her back to school tomorrow and hopefully that works because it only talks about the cough it doesn't talk about the mucus or the congestion but it's weird because she doesn't like right now she's fine she's not congested she's not coughing she's perfectly okay i don't know why every time in the morning when she goes to school that happens but i think it's because they're outside and they go outside in the playroom in the play area and when they're outside in the play area I get sniffles when I'm outside. You know what I mean? I get like mucus and a cough sometimes. So it's like normal for her to get it, but she just gets more um, congested outside um, during the morning. So I think that that's what's going on. Um, I'm gonna talk to the teacher about that and just let her know, like notice if it's during the time that she takes her outside um, to, to play in the playground that it's more that she's congested. I don't know guys so i'm running out of options here but yeah we're done with that now i have to go return some stuff and then head home 
Okay, we came to Hobby Lobby and I'm gonna get this like little Noel thing for the stockings. And then I decided to go with the white, red, white, red for the four of us. Emma is not having it today at all. <laughs> Alright guys, so I went to Hobby Lobby to return some items and then just exchange them for a different color because I didn't like the stockings that I had got. <clears throat> so I exchanged them for another and then I got the Noel sign to hang the stockings. It's pretty much what we did. Emma was not having it there. But now I'm outside of the Nordstrom rack because I have to return a belt that Anthony did not use. So I have to return that. We stopped at Starbucks. I got Emma a chocolate chip cookie because she loves the chocolate chip cookies. She's been doing this weird thing where I hand her over what she likes and she'll say no. I do it again and she'll say no. And on the third time, she grabs it and eats it with everything. She's been doing that with everything lately. It's driving me insane because I know I have to keep trying until she's like, okay, I want it. And I got myself the... Um, Irish cream cold brew and it's actually really good. I've never had the Irish cream cold brew one and it tastes amazing. It tastes really, really good. I got um, decaf, so I'm not having too much caffeine today, but it tastes good. I'm more of a fan of um, the cold brew from Dutch Bros, but I was close to Starbucks, so I just stopped at Starbucks and got myself a little drink. I'm going to go ahead and return some stuff. I hate when I have to return things. It's like the worst. Because the lines right now are crazy. The line at Hobby Lobby was really, really long. And it was super crazy. And here we go to another crazy line of returns. We just got back from the gym. Yes, I'm still wearing the same mama sweater that I really, really love, by the way. And then I just changed into my Gymshark um, leggings. Hi, my love book. She keeps reading my shirt and going, M-A-M-A. -A. Yeah, it says mama. And mama, what's her name? Oh. <laughs> we just got back from the gym. Emma had fun at the daycare. I'm going to feed her some apples right now because I think she is hungry. So I'm going to eat a salad, have her have an apple and some snacks before we head out to go pick up adrian from school i don't know why but i feel super tired today like really really extremely tired it's a cookie are you gonna eat it eat the cookie mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. give mama a kiss When she doesn't want to give me a kiss, she just puts her face right next to me. But yeah, I feel extremely tired. The house is literally a wreck. Honestly, guys, I haven't been doing my, my cleaning channel lately because when I do my cleaning channel, I don't clean. So let's say I mean, I'm like, I have a mess right now. I'm not going to clean because... I'll just clean tomorrow so I can film. And it keeps doing that. And just like every time that I have to wait until I have a mess. And my mess keeps getting bigger and bigger and bigger. And then I'm like, you know what? I just need to clean it because I'm going so like stressed out and overwhelmed. And I just need to clean it. And then I end up not filming it just because it takes so long to film. I don't know. It's like a love-hate relationship with my cleaning channel right now, to be honest. Because I'm just so tired of having to keep a house dirty so I can film my cleaning if that makes any sense I don't know so I don't know what I'm gonna do with my cleaning channel to be honest I am just thinking about it if I'm gonna keep it if I'm just gonna just film whenever I have a chance and still post on it here and there I am debating on what to do with my channel to be honest
Okay, I made it to Adrian's school. I'm just waiting for him. I don't go on the pickup line because the pickup line is so extremely crazy for him. Um, I mean, I would probably be stuck there for like a good hour for the pickup line. Emma just fell asleep. She's back here asleep. Um, I just wait for him like a couple of blocks away from his school and he just walks over here. So I'm just waiting for him right now. Um, here extremely early i had to leave earlier because emma was not taking a nap and i know she was so tired but she was just not falling asleep so i was like okay let's take off early i'll drive around so she can fall asleep in the car and then i'll just chill and watch like a show or something or look through instagram while she's asleep and i'm waiting for adrian oh i feel so exhausted today i i mean exhausted like i can literally fall asleep here i wish i wouldn't have got decaf i wish i would have went for the regular coffee today because i am so so tired today so tired i was able to do half of the cleaning at the house but not all of it and i still have to cook dinner when i get home mom life brah stay at home mom life <laughs> Oh my goodness. I've been being way better though with my schedule, my waking up, my routine. I've been trying to do a lot better. I've been trying to write down notes on what I need to do for the day and like, you know, like a list of stuff that I have to do. I've been being way better at that. I actually just purchased a new calendar also for the new year because I really want to start utilizing it more, but I've been at least doing the little sticky notes for the, for the day. And I feel like it's making my anxiety levels a little bit better because now I have like something to go by and just to mark off the list. And if I don't finish it all, it's fine. And I just go into the next day and start from that list. But it makes me feel a lot better knowing that I'm accomplishing little things instead of just like, what did I get done today? And what do I still need to get done without even having something written down? So that's been helping me a little bit. I'm going on a regular night I can't talk <laughs> we're going walking but it's later than normal so it's already dark outside because it gets dark like at 2 nah, pretty much my little miss Emster daddy and mommy shiny shoes Yeah, monkey, <laughs> monkey bars. bars. Good job, little monkey. Good job. You did it. Yeah. All right, guys. So since we are reading and we saw a good verse right now, we're going to go ahead and read that one to you guys. All right. So the verse of the day is in Romans 12, 1 through 2, 1 and 2. I appeal to you, therefore, brothers, by the mercies of God, to present your bodies as a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable to God, which is your spiritual worship. Do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewal of your mind, that by testing you may discern what is the will of God, what is good and acceptable and perfect. All right, guys. Now it is time to give little Miss Emster a bath. Oh, who's going to take a bath? Who's going to take a bath? Say me. B-I-N-G-O-B-I-N-G-O-B-I-N-G-O. Then we go, what's his name? Mo. What's the <laughs> Bedtime. Bedtime? Oh. But you got to take a bath Ooh. first. So now that we're done reading the Bible, Anthony's going to jujitsu. Adrian's pretty much already like in bed. He's tired today, but I'm gonna give this little cutie pie a bath and then we're gonna go ahead and play and read a book and do some sensory play again before we get ready for bed. Peekaboo. Thank you guys for watching all our videos. I know it's a lot to be watching like video after video and keeping up with Vlogmas. So if you guys can't watch every single video, it's okay. <laughs> Definitely let me know when you guys are watching. I do love to hear from you guys. And I appreciate all the inboxes and comments that I've been getting on my Instagram. If you guys are not following me there, I will link it down below for you guys on the description box. So you guys can go ahead and follow me there as well. 
But thank you guys for all the support, and we appreciate and we appreciate it. This weekend, I'm gonna be filming some sit down videos. So hopefully, I can also have some sit down videos for you guys, and not just vlogs. Some shorter videos for you guys to watch on specific autism topics. But thank you guys.